here and um, give you guys some, I know that there was a lot of concerned folks uh, about the Salt River Wild Horses uh, regarding this fire. We also just got some video of that campsite, some updated video of the campsite uh, that we saw yesterday as we were in the area. Check out this video. Oh, well, I'll, I'll play that in just a second here. Uh, but uh, we're coming to, this is a shot of the fire or beauty on, on five. Stand on the fire. So once again, uh, for those on Facebook, uh, sorry about the cutout there. Uh, Jerry Ferguson reporting up in the Penguin Air Plumbing News Shop. I'm sitting alongside Aaron Whitesale. And this is the Cactus Fire burning near Bush Highway. As you can see, it burned right up to the highway. Copy, clear from five. So this fire estimated about 20 to 25 acres. The wind has shifted. Uh, last night it was actually blowing the opposite direction. And let me show you how close it got to Bush Highway out here. It actually burned the railings, those wooden posts on the railings of Bush Highway. It, and it jumped actually over the highway. You can see a few little hot spots over on the other side of the highway. Thank goodness firefighters were able to contain those hot spots and the fire didn't spread any further on the east side of the highway. Again, let me give you some context. I'll pull back and show you where this is at. Uh, the fire is just a, uh, just over a mile north of the Granite Reef Dam out here. There's the Granite Reef Dam as I turn around here and look back toward Mesa, Lacendas. This is burning north of Mesa, north of the Lacendas area of Mesa uh, in the area of the Granite Reef Dam where Power Road turns into Bush Highway. And I'll come back around and show you um, the uh, the fire here is still smoldering. Uh, let me show you some video, though, some pretty dramatic video from yesterday of uh, as we got on the scene and we saw this fire burning right near a tent. If you look real close there, I'll back, the, uh, back up the video again. You can see fire burning right near the tent uh, of a uh, campsite there. And then uh, cut back to a live shot here as I fast forward through some of this video and show you where that tent is today or where that campsite is today. Um, here's a video of that same campsite today. Look at that. A stark reminder of the power that, this, that these wildfires have to just completely devastate everything in their wake. Uh, we certainly are hoping with Irene and others on Facebook commenting uh, that everyone remained safe and was able to get out. We saw the uh, uh, Maricopa County Sheriff's helicopter down there yesterday uh, doing patrols and checking to make sure that nobody was in the path of that fire. And we certainly thank those guys as well as the uh, firefighters out there, of course, those uh, hero men and women who uh, are have their hands full right now during this busy wildfire season. I think we covered a uh, a new record three wildfires in a day from the Penguin Air and Plumbing News Chopper here. Uh, so Diane asks, did this start in a homeless site? Um, as we look at the Salt River Wild Horses returning to the area, those horses are actually walking back toward the scene. Uh, to answer your question, did it start in the homeless site? It sure looks, it, it looks that way. We, we, it would be speculation at this point. We don't we're not privy to the investigation. We don't have any official word on whether where it started, but that that uh, camp spot, which some folks said were is a um, is a is a common place where homeless some homeless folks were living, uh, that was right smack dab in the middle of the burned out area, and uh, so um, you know we're not sure. We're still working to gather confirmation on exactly how this fire started. But as I come back uh, to a live shot here, Aaron, just watch that skid there. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to look at the, uh, the horses here returning to the area. We had a lot of concern from folks about those Salt River wild horses. We looked around yesterday as we were on the fire just to make sure that we didn't see any horses in the area. And we did not, which I think is, a good, uh, is some good news. These horses are returning to the area today, which is that's great news for the wildlife as well as for... Um, uh, people. We didn't hear any of any reports of injuries, thank goodness. And I'll uh, come back to another a live shot here 
of the burned out area, the wind has shifted and is much calmer this morning. So hopefully today the winds will remain calm. Yesterday they were dealing with uh, with uh, 25, 35 mile per hour winds. We were dealing with it up in the helicopter as well.